Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sonet Television. Going to take a look at a strobe beacon from Whelan. It is the Whelan 2022 LPA and Chris is going to take it apart. Take it away, Chris. Well, thank you, Stuart. I have here Whelan's 2022 strobe beacon. This happens to be the low profile version. I'm going to show you how the dome comes off, how the strobe tube assembly comes out, what the power supply looks like upon removing it from the base assembly. Go ahead, take a Phillips head screwdriver here. The dome is held on with two screws, one in the front, one in the rear. Give the dome a little wiggle. So here's your dome removed. Center optic portion, lower diffusing, upper diffusing, non-optic on the top. So here's a close up at the inside of what your strobe tube and power supply assembly looks like from the top. And I'll remove this from the base to give you a bottom view. The strobe tube here if you need to replace them, it's affixed into the power supply assembly with two small screws. The screws loosened. Again, wiggle the strobe tube free. and slide it out from the power supply. You can see on the base here, you have guide teeth and a total of three pins. And those, again, align to the power supply. I'm gonna go ahead, and set this aside for a moment. But before I do, if you ever need to replace it, good thing to know, this part here is an FT20A. That's your part number for the replacement strobe. I set this over to the side here. power supply is held to the polycarbonate base with three screws. Go ahead and slide the power supply out with the wiring harness as well. So here's your polycarbonate base assembly, completely free of all the other components. So you have your three posts here, center hole for your wiring. Also incorporated in the base here is a one inch standard thread if you wanted to screw it onto a pipe. Also, if you're ever gonna install a magnet kit, you'll do these same steps here to disassemble your beacon, and then get in here, follow the guide template, drill a hole for installing a magnet kit. Power supply. It's basically a microchip assembly board. Some wiring, some relay portions, a large capacitor assembly here so what this does is stores up an electrical charge. So when you apply power to your beacon through your switching, which is tied into your vehicle, it'll send current through, tie into the relays here, charge up the capacitor, and then send a burst of power up to the strobe beacon for that quick flash. You can see the wiring here has all been epoxied onto the board assembly itself and fully soldered in as well. So what we're going to do is now reassemble the beacon. If you're curious exactly what this little gasket is on the base, it's a seal for when the beacon top goes back onto it to help seal out condensation that could get into it. So again, I'll set this back on here.
realign that flat. Take the power supply here. Start by inserting the wires into the base portion. Go ahead and feed those through. The power supply, again, affixes to the three plastic posts on the base. So we'll go ahead and line up the post with the holes on the power supply. Go ahead now, start the screws into the posts, just simply hand tightening them. Go ahead now, snug these down. Take the FT20 strobe tube, reinsert it into the base, and again, it has guide teeth. On the power supply here in the center, oddly, it looks like a little smiley face, so it's pretty easy to follow how you're gonna reinsert it. Just follow the face template. Go ahead, snugly slide that down. It'll lock into place. Don't forget to tighten the two small Phillips head screws there. Something important to keep in mind when you're working on the inside of your strobe beacon is to keep your strobe tube free of basically your hands. Somewhat like fluorescent light bulbs, if you get oils or grime on it, when you go to light up the bulb, it can possibly cause it to burst because it creates basically a sense point on it. Go ahead, snug those down. Again, keeping both the screwdriver, my fingers free of the tube itself. Go ahead, take the dome here, realign it onto the base assembly. Again, two screw holes, one in the rear, one in the front, one in the front, one in the rear, whichever you'd like to call it. Realign the holes here. But before I go ahead and screw this back in, I want to show you something kind of fun about strobe beacons. Gonna go ahead, power it up here quickly. Again, make sure it works after taking the strobe tube out and putting it back in. Seems to work great. With strobe beacons, unlike LEDs, where the diode is what produces your color, your dome is what's gonna create your visual color. Clear strobe tube inside bursts, shining through the plastic, giving you the visual effect. So with that, if you ever need to change your dome colors, it's just a simple swap. Turn that off quickly. Same thing here. If you ever needed to switch it from red, amber, green, clear, it's just a simple removal of two screws and a dome swap. Go ahead, take my amber dome, slide it onto the base. Again, I'm gonna cinch it down here with the screws, so make sure to align the hole, again on the rear portion, again on the front portion as well.
tighten that down. Again, the other screws tighten down as well. Whelan's 2022 strobe beacon, how the unit disassembles, the strobe tube unit itself inside, look at the base assembly and the power supply unit itself, also the fun at strobe tubes, and if you need to change domes. Thanks for spending some time with me here at SirenNet TV. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. Really appreciate that. It's a Monday. I'm Stuart, and again, thanks for watching SirenNet Television.